Hi, I'm Jen, and welcome back to Motherhood Guru, a place where parents can get answers on anything from pregnancy to parenthood. Today's topic is going to be on a symptom that I've been experiencing lately in my third trimester that has made me absolutely miserable, and that is acid reflux or heartburn. 50% of pregnant women experience symptoms of heartburn and acid reflux. They're both caused by pregnancy. Symptoms are said to disappear completely after childbirth, but it could take weeks to months before that will happen. So in order to help you ease your discomfort, I did some research on ways to naturally remedy heartburn or acid indigestion slash acid reflux. But first I wanna go over the symptoms. Acid reflux and heartburn are similar but yet different. So you should really have your OBGYN be the one to diagnose you completely. However, these are the symptoms that you'll wanna watch for. Let's start with acid reflux symptoms. Number one, you may experience a burning sensation in your chest that lasts seconds to hours. You may notice you have hoarseness of voice, loss of voice, or feel like you need to clear your throat all the time. You'll begin to burp more frequently and possibly develop gas. You may have chronic coughing or a sore throat. You may experience the feeling that like something's stuck in your chest or throat. Difficulty swallowing can occur. Chest pain will occur after eating, laying down, or bending over. You may notice a sudden development in an excess of saliva. Inflammation of your mouth or gums may occur. You may feel very full very fast after each meal. Chronic nausea and vomiting can occur. Regurgitating of food is a huge sign of acid reflux. Wheezing or asthma-like symptoms may happen or persist, and you may have really bad breath. Now let's look at the symptoms of heartburn. You will notice a sharp burning sensation in your chest, right below your ribs or your breastbone. The pain does not radiate to your shoulders, neck, or arms. Pain may start after eating or lying down. Your symptoms respond quickly to over-the-counter medications. They are rarely accompanied by a cold sweat. Symptoms of heartburn can feel very similar to heart attack. So to ensure that you're not having a heart attack versus heartburn, I decided to go over the symptoms real quick of a heart attack so that you can determine between the two. Symptoms of a heart attack include fullness, tightness, dull pressure, or pain in your chest area usually in the center. Your sudden chest pain or pressure worsens. You experience dizziness and lightheadedness. The pain may spread to your neck, jaw, shoulder, or arms. Pain responds quickly to nitroglycerin. Shortness of breath may occur, accompanied by a cold sweat. If your symptoms sound more like a heart attack than heartburn, please contact your physician immediately. It's not something to mess with. Now that you know what you're experiencing and can better explain your symptoms to your OBGYN and or physician, they can determine what your diagnosis is. If it is truly heartburn or acid reflux, here are some natural remedies to ease your discomfort. Remedies for both acid reflux and heartburn are the same. They're also the same whether you're pregnant or not. Chewing gum after each meal can help produce saliva which neutralizes the acid in your stomach. Avoid peppermint gum, it causes heartburn. Try a fruity flavor. Make sure to wear loose fitted clothing to avoid pressure to the abdomen. I know that can be hard because nowadays, tight fitted clothing for maternity is very, very fashionable, but just make sure that it's not too tight. Eat several small meals a day and chew very slowly to encourage digestion. Drink less liquid with each meal. Too much liquid can make your stomach distend. Don't stop altogether though, you don't want to get dehydrated. Eat at least two to three hours before going to bed. When going to bed, make sure you elevate yourself while sleeping. Lying flat can increase the chances of your symptoms returning. Try antiacids such as Tums, Rolaids, or Maalox. I carry Tums on me at all times, and between meals, I take two teaspoons of Maalox and before I go to bed. Avoid antiacids that include sodium carbonate. They can cause fluid retention and should be used only under the supervision of a physician. Also stay away from antiacids that include magnesium. They can interfere with contractions. Make sure to eat low-fat meals. 
Meals that are high in fat can cause your symptoms to increase. Follow your doctor's instructions on weight gain. Gaining too much weight can cause added pressure to your stomach, increasing the severity and frequency of your symptoms. And most importantly, you want to be aware of certain foods such as tomatoes and related sauces such as spaghetti, salsa, or pizza sauce, ketchup and mustard, horseradish, salad dressings, vinegar, fried foods, caffeine, coffee, tea, and decaffeinated products, chocolate, citrus juice and citrus foods, products flavored with mint such as cocoa or candy, cream sauces such as Alfredo or macaroni and cheese, and obviously you need to avoid alcohol or tobacco use, but you knew that. Some home remedies that friends suggested to me were things like drinking pickle juice or drinking water and baking soda. If none of these remedies work for you, please contact your OBGYN or physician to find a remedy that will. To avoid serious damage to your esophagus, please don't let these symptoms go unattended. Acid reflux is not something to take lightly. It can cause serious damage to your voice box and esophagus. I hope you enjoyed our segment today on acid reflux and heartburn, and I hope that you found something that will help ease your discomfort. Again, I'm Jen, and I'd like to thank you for joining us here at Motherhood Guru. I'd love to hear from you, so please put a comment in our comment box. And if you liked this segment, please like it. And make sure to click on the link below in the description to get more information on having a healthy pregnancy and a healthy baby. That wraps up our discussion today. From one hot mother to another, happy pregnancy.